Howdy everyone, Tony Mary with Ethos Systems here. Welcome to the next video in our hashtag stop me if you've heard this series, where I'll be showing you how project personnel can leverage the pre-built dashboards in Sage 300 CRE to easily answer project financial questions themselves without interrupting your day each and every time. So for today's example, let's pretend a superintendent or project manager is calling or emailing you, emailing you and hashtag stop me if you've heard this, they need to know if their subcontractor or supplier has been paid. And also, while you're in there, why is that cost code over budget? Does this sound familiar at all? So before I jump in and show you how they can easily answer this information themselves very efficiently, first let me show you how easy it is for you to enable this for them. So first, what I'm going to ask you to do is hit the down arrow. And here where it says add a selected crystal report, go ahead and click that. And if it does not navigate you, it should navigate you similar to a path here. You'll see I have home pages. These are the samples I'm referring to. Pre-built dashboards for commercial construction, real estate developers, residential builders, and specialty construction. For the sake of today's presentation, I have selected a couple from the commercial construction. I have grabbed the one that says job cost detail summary. That is the job cost detail here. And I've grabbed the project manager overview. That is the one here. So do please take the time to review these and figure out which ones are most meaningful for your company, but those are the examples I have used today. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is then save this as a configuration so every project manager can use this. So when they log in, they are logging into the job insights. So that will default, and now this is where I'll show you how they would use it. So they would log into Sage, they would be presented this screen and it would be blank, and they would hit job number, generate. So if they wanted to see this job number, they would hit job number and generate. It would provide this report, which is actually a series of reports that is current and up-to-date information. So let us go back to our example. If they wanted to know if a subcontractor or supplier has been paid and why is a cost code over budget? So they could, again, log into Sage with the username and password, job number generate, and they can actually reverse look at this and say, what invoices do I have open? And let's say they were inquiring on their electrical company. Well, they can see that they've paid them on their April invoice, but have not paid on their June invoice. We can see that information is very clear and presented to us here. The next logical question is, well, have we been paid? They can actually just go back to this main report, click on the billing summary, see their schedule of values summarized by here in electrical and see, well, you've billed 7,000 and have not been paid anything. So they've answered the question, have they paid the subcontractor? That has shown what is paid and not paid. And then it answered the question they should have also asked, have you been paid? But then let's go on to the cost code over budget. So what they can do is they can come in to the same report and they can go to their cost code breakdown and run this report and see what is exactly hitting their cost and where. If they did need to dive any further, the second dashboard we've created or pulled up here is the job cost detail. They've hit the job number and they've hit generate. We're looking at the same project and now what they're able to do is efficiently navigate through their cost code structure. I happen to know that the electrical subcontractor they're inquiring about is on page six and we can see that represented by our electrical subcontractor. We can now click on this arrow and drill down and see what is making up our job to date cost. That is the column here with 8,364. Our job to date cost is represented here with these two invoices representing a 10% billing for A1 Electric in April, and there is the May invoice. Again, they can run through these reports, click on series of information, and answer information themselves with a series of username, password, job number, generate. Thank you for your time. Enjoy.